Hello everybody, my name is Riley Saunders and I've been saying for years that Winnipeg, Manitoba is the music capital of Canada. This little known freezing cold city is home to some of the most amazing artists and they have nothing better to do than sit around, play music and write songs. The Spare Room is a show I created to shine a light on some of these artists. It's about more than just the music. It's about gaining a glimpse into the minds and personalities of the human beings behind the songs. From my spare room to the comfort of your home, I present to you Jamie Buckborough, accompanied by Alex Campbell. Day after day after day after day after day. What I love the most about music, I would say, is the performance aspect. Getting to get on a stage and hang out with your best friends and play a bunch of music together and engage a whole bunch of strangers that you've never met before that you get to talk to afterwards and uh, just to have a whole lot of fun. I love about music. Uh, the social component, um, especially now as I get older, like uh, going out and playing a gig, uh, you kind of hit a bunch of birds with one stone, get your social piece, make a little bit of money, and um, and then you get your kind of creative outlet. So for me, it's it's mostly just fun. I don't take it too, too seriously. My name is James Buckborough, and uh, I'm a musician in Winnipeg, and I uh, play in a few bands around town, such as the Honey Sliders, Jive Town, and uh, Tobacco Flowers and Gin. My name is Alex Campbell, um, I'm 36, I live in Winnipeg, been a musician since I was quite young, uh, now I also teach music, uh, so yeah, Winnipegger, born and raised, proud musician to, and to live here. This song is called Fairly Well, uh, it was written by a late friend of mine, Ross Kaisley, who is uh, no longer with us, and uh, it's one of my favorites of his, I found it on his computer after he passed away and I uh, decided I'd uh, take it and finish it up for him.
sun Well, goodbye, fair thee well You never can tell Don't you cry till you know that I'm gone Well, goodbye My first memories of music, I'd say, is back at uh, back at the house when I was growing up, and uh, parents having music parties with all their friends, just this big circle of acoustic players, pianos, singers, harmonicas, and uh, us, me and my siblings having to be in bed, but sneaking to the top of the stairs and listening to it all flooding up, and just absorbing it all. That and also sneaking into my dad's guitar room and taking a big old whiff of those electric guitar cases. Just that musty Stratocaster smell will never, will never leave my nostrils. My first memories of music would be probably uh, playing Ode to Joy on the piano before I started piano lessons. So early, early memories would be uh, yeah, mostly classical stuff, piano lessons, that kind of thing. Music didn't get cool until uh, about high school when I started smoking pot. I would say that my purpose in life is to perform what I have to offer to as many people as I possibly can and hopefully inspire, at the very least, entertain. My purpose in life uh, is just to be a good person, uh, to be a good, a good friend, a good husband, a good son, and a good father. This one's called uh, Danko and Manuel. It's a bit of an homage to the band, who I'm so very fond of.
And he played it well Nobody could even tell Yes, he played it well Like Danko and Manuel Like Danko and Manuel Like Danko and Manuel What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for watching The Spare Room. Come on out here, guys. We got Jamie Buckborough right here, and we got Alex Campbell, and these guys are just getting the hell out of here. I, honestly, let's just, let's just get out of here. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Day after day after day after day after day.